Good morning, Carla. I'm really sorry that I couldn't come up with the van this morning, so I wanted to do a little video um, delivery for you, introduce you to all the features in the car. Let's take a look here. Um, it is a smart key. Um, you have uh, power sliding doors. Each of them are a double press to open and close. Uh, I just need to keep this on your person in order to um, open and close the doors remotely. Let's open those back up so we can look inside. You have a power driver's seat. Um, the little dial there is the lumbar support that is adjustable up and down and in and out. So um, it's, uh, uh, you can adjust it for uh, different height people. Uh, power windows and locks and mirrors, obviously. Uh, you have auto headlights, uh, the little um, dials beneath, beside them are for interior lights and then for instrument panel lights. Let's climb inside. We'll start her up. You have to have your foot on the brake and tap the start button. Uh, this keypad here on the left controls the center display. Right now it's showing the speedometer, but if I press down on the display. It's got vehicle info and you can scroll through the different um, information like transmission temperature, oil temperature, oil life. That's one that you can check from time to time. Right now it's at 98%. Uh, there's your fuel economy. Um, you just press and hold the OK button to reset it. I'll do that just to give that a try. Also shows you your range to empty. That's based on um, the average fuel economy that you've had. In this case of this car right now, it's only showing 12 miles per gallon, but that's only because it spent most of its life just sitting here idling. Um, but if you scroll down, you have trip uh, information. You have a trip A and a trip B. It's got a timer, your miles per gallon, and the distance traveled. Um, there's your uh, audio. Current audio is at 101.7. <clears throat> uh, no stored messages. Messages are going to be things like, Time for an oil change, um, you have a, a tail light out, things like that. Uh, screen setup, um, just press OK to enter the screen setup. Um, you can configure where information is uh, displayed. Um, right now in the upper right, you can see it's got um, E for east, but we can press, I wish that would focus a little better. We can press OK to go into that. Um, let's see what we might want to put that to. My favorite is range there it goes range um, shows you that you can go 211 miles on your current tank of gas press ok to select setting saved so now you've got your range in the upper right and you can do that with um, uh, the rest of the locations we'll press left to exit screen setup and back to speedometer uh, over here on the right side you have your cruise control um, the center button turns cruise control on then you can set your temp your uh, your speed, um, and then you can press um, the minus or the plus to um, increase or decrease your speed by one pile, mile per hour increments. Cancel obviously turns it off, and resume. You'd hit that to go back to your previously set um, speed, like after a toll booth or something like that. Uh, over here is your blinker. Also, it controls your high beams. This one here controls your wipers. Um, uh, it looks like it's pull to do the front and push to do the rear spray. Uh, the second little dial here controls the rear wiper, and this one out here is uh, for your front windshield wiper. Um, you have a rotary dial uh, gear selector. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory, but it takes a little bit of getting used to. Uh, this is the electric parking brake. Um, you can set it to be automatically engaged, um, but I, by default I just kind of leave that off. Um, but if you want to, if you press it, you can see that um, uh, the li it lights up and the parking brake is engaged. And I could feel it in the uh, brake pedal when I did that. Um, here down here you have your climate control buttons. Um, they are also available on the screen. You can go to climate and you can make your adjustments here or you can make them down here. And if you, you can see that if I make adjustments down below, it's adjusting them there as well. Um, you can go to your rear climate for little guys um, and you can make your adjustments here. You can lock it because they do have a control back here um, where they can make adjustments as well.
but you can lock it so that they can't mess with it. Uh, on the radio, uh, AM, FM, and Sirius Satellite, this 91.1 we um, added as a preset. Uh, that's for the FM modulator for the rear entertainment system that's been mounted um, on the roof. Um, if they're playing a DVD uh, back there um, and you want to listen to it in the cabin, you just tune the radio to 91.1 and you can hear it throughout the cabin. Um, on the media, if uh, you set up your phone, you can do Bluetooth streaming. There's also an auxiliary in and a USB in if you wanted to use like a thumb drive with some music. The settings screen, uh, you can configure just about everything on this, uh, on this van. Um, display is going to show you things like um, auto or manual as far as uh, the brightness. Um, it will auto adjust based on the ambient um, light. Uh, you can adjust your theme. Um, right now it's on Chrysler 4, but let's try something else. Uh, it's just a bluish one for Chrysler. I didn't see much difference there. Let's try 5. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Yeah, we'll go back to the default. Okay, we'll go back and back. Um, voice. The voice stuff is controlled over here. Um, that's the the uh, voice recognition button. Um, you can always press it and say help and it will tell you all the available things that you can do. Um, but right now it's set to uh, detailed uh, voice response. Once you've gotten used to using the voice control system, um, you can change it to brief so you don't have to listen to her yak at you so much. Uh, clock, that's pretty self-explanatory. Safety and driving assistance. Um, park sense. Right now it's set for sound and sound and display. That's uh, if sound and display. So you're going to see um, visual cues in the uh, center display um, if there are uh, objects in your path and it'll also chime. As you get closer it'll chime faster. Rear park sense volume, you can adjust the volume. Um, rear park sense park braking assist, it's actually going to start, stop the car if it senses that you're about to run into a light pole or something like that. But you can turn that off if you like. Blind spot alert right now is set to just lights. Those are the triangles in the um, side mirrors, but you can change that to lights and chime. Uh, park view backup camera with active guidelines, it's right now it's turned on. I can't imagine why you'd want to turn that off. The park view backup camera delay. If you select delay, um, the backup camera will stay on for a period of time after you put it into drive so you can continue to see what's uh, going on behind you. Um, sliding door alert. Uh, it's going to chime when the doors are starting to slide open um, and hill start assist. Um, it's going to actually engage the brake so that you don't roll backwards on a steep slope after you've taken your foot off the brake um, before you put your foot on the gas. But you can turn that off as well. Uh, brakes. Um, th here's the uh, auto park brake. If you select that, whenever you put it into park, it's going to turn on the parking brake. You do need to turn the parking brake off if you want to start going without um, um, keeping the brakes on. Uh, lights. You can adjust your delay after you uh, turn off the car. After you turn off the car, um, the amount of time that uh, the uh, headlights will stay on in case you need to get to the house and you want to keep the uh, lights on. Uh, headlight illumination on approach. Um, you can have that turn on and off. Headlights with wipers, so automatically the headlights will come on when you use the wipers, as is per Virginia state law. I'm not sure about Maryland. Daytime running lights are set to be on. You can turn that off as well and flash, flash lights with lock is turned on right now. Doors and locks. Um, auto door locks are turned on, so when you put it into drive, all the lock, locks are gonna, um, it's going to lock all the doors. Uh, auto unlock on exit, so if you put it into park, it's going to unlock the doors. Uh, flash lights with lock, you can turn that on or off. You can turn on the, oh, and right here, sound horn with lock. Um, it's going to beep uh, with the first press of the, um, the locking lock on the uh, key fob. Uh, first press of key fob unlocks. Right now it's set to just the driver door, but you can have it um, the first press unlock all the doors if you like. And passive entry, that's if you have the key on your person, 
the doors are locked, you grab the door handle, it's going to unlock them, just like in the Grand Cherokee. Um, passive entry, that's what we just talked about. Sliding door alert, right now we have it set on. Flashlights with sliding door, I'm not sure why you want to do that, but you can if you'd like. Engine off options, those are the power delays. So power is going to continue to the accessories for 45 seconds, so you can continue to listen to the radio after you've turned off the car, um, but it will uh, um, turn off after 45 seconds. And there's also that another place where you can adjust the headlight off delay. Audio, you can get to these functions uh, while the radio is on, um, or you can do it from here, but here's where you adjust your balance and fade as well as the equalizer speed adjusted volume so as the car is going faster and there's more road noise it will increase the, the volume of the uh, the radio um, and this auxiliary volume offset um, sometimes an auxiliary in will have either a, a much louder um, source or let's quieter you can adjust it so that when you go in you switch to auxiliary um, it doesn't blast the sound um, at you uh, phone and Bluetooth. Here's uh, where you can um, pair up your phones. Um, it's very self-explanatory if you just um, follow the prompts, just add a device, and it'll walk you right through it. Or you can do it by pressing the voice button and uh, saying help, and it will walk you through um, pairing your device. Um, you can also have paired audio sources if you had like an iPod or something like that. Uh, Sirius satellite, you really don't need to deal with that. Um, you can also restore, once if you get these all messed up, you can restore them to factory defaults. Um, if for some reason you wanted to clear your personal data from the system, you can um, go here and it will zap all your um, paired phones and any other personal information that might be there. I think that's most of it for settings. Oop, we'll go to apps. Um, here, the one thing I'd really want to um, point out to you is this register button. Um, once you have the car um, it's pro and you've paired your device, your uh, iPhone or Android device, uh, it's a good idea to go ahead and register the Uconnect. Um, that's going to activate your um, uh, Uconnect subscription um, and they will uh, send you all kinds of information on, on how the, the system works. Um, also, once you are uh, you've got your phone working. You can use Pandora, iHeart. Um, now let's see what what's on the next screen. Slacker Radio. Uh, you can do a Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, it also has Yelp and User Guide, which is uh, pretty much the um, owner's manual uh, built right into the system. Here again are your climate controls. They're pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the sync button. Um, is just going to sync left and right as well as the rear. Um, so you can make changes to the entire cabin just by adjusting the driver. Uh, screen off and phone. Here's another place where you can um, um, start the uh, process of syncing your phone. Um, once you have the phone synced, you can have favorite phone call, um, favorite uh, <laughs> Um, contacts along the top so you have a quick dial um, you can redial uh, end calls from here you can also end calls from here and place calls from here uh, it will uh, read your messages to you you'll have your phone book um, you can join calls transfer calls a lot of this is pretty similar to what you've got in your Grand Cherokee go back to the radio um, I guess we look down here we have your USB and auxiliary. You have a nice big compartment down here as well as storage here and here. Big deep pocket there. Um, the cup holders here, all these uh, liners are removable, makes it much easier to clean. Um, your glove box, obviously. Uh, you have your window sticker here as well as your um, owner's manual. I would highly recommend looking through your owner's manual. These things are pretty fancy. Uh, up here you have an auto dimming rear view. Uh, there is a button here to turn that feature off. Um, this is uh, your um, your mirror for uh, being able to watch the little ones. Actually, I'll peel that plastic off for you. So you can see the entire cabin by just looking up at that little mirror. Sunglasses holder, uh, controls for the doors, 
Um, you can turn the doors off so that they can't open them themselves. Um, and here you have interior cabin lights. I think that's pretty much it up front. Let's take a look in the back. Um, back here, um, hey look, you've got uh, headphones. There's supposed to be two pairs. I will make sure that they are both here. Um, they fold flat so that you can put them behind the seat backs. And I'll do that later. Um, you also have your user manual. I'm going to put these in the glove box. User manual for the entertainment system. Um, this one is pretty fancy. It actually is Wi-Fi capable. So you can stream video and audio from your phone right to the, um, to the unit. So they can be watching YouTube videos or basically whatever you have on your screen. You can have um, um, display uh, up on the entertainment system. So you press the button to drop that down. The CD or DVD, I'm sorry, uh, slot is over there. So uh, I don't know about your kids, but mine watch the same darn videos over and over again. So you might just get by with the DVD. Um, it uh, on the man, sorry, on the um, menu system for uh, this, you can um, turn off the um, FM modulator and so it will just uh, transmit to the um, headphones. The headphones also do have an auto off feature so they won't run the batteries down all the time. Um, you also have inputs over here for H HD in, uh, you've got a USB slot, you can play videos off of a thumb drive if you want. Um, you can also um, have uh, an audio source like an auxiliary. Um, rear controls for the climate um, and uh, uh, this is the uh, seat belt for the center um, row uh, seat. Buttons for the doors on both sides. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, these are the microphones for if you're um, trying to speak to the system. So it's, it's pretty good at picking up just ambient noises. So you don't have to really yell um, in the direction of the microphone. It's, it picks up just about everything that you might want to say. Um, if you have any other questions when you're going through the, the van, please feel free to give me a call anytime. Uh, again, my number is 757-634-5701. Thanks, Carla. Take care.